Astronomers in Hawaii have captured the first close-up image with scientists not knowing where it came from. Now, eventually, they figured out this object, now named 3 Eye Atlas, was an interstellar visitor. The alert first flashed from an observatory in Hawaii, a hyperbolic trajectory. That means one thing, it's not from around here. Almost immediately, data confirmed the object, named 3 Eye Atlas, was an interstellar visitor. Well, these are really rare so far. Um, it's only the third one ever. There's, you know, a million and a half known asteroids, and there's about 30, 35,000 near-Earth objects. But as telescopes around the world focused in, the real shock began. The object is composed of a chemical mix that scientists can barely explain, and it's heading for a remarkably close encounter with Mars. This unprecedented event is unfolding right now, promising a spectacle and a scientific mystery that humanity has never encountered before. The Cosmic Shooting Gallery. The single week of September 12th to 18th shatters every previous record for close encounters. Get this, at least 28 near-Earth objects pass within the moon's orbit. That's triple the old weekly high. Many people are crazy about tracking these things, and you can see why. Most are small, in the 25 to 80 foot range, the kind that could disintegrate in our atmosphere or, if they're a bit bigger, explode with the force of an atomic bomb, just like the Chelyabinsk meteor did over Russia back in 2013. But two of them, FA-22 and RJ-2, are much, much bigger. We're talking up to 400 feet in diameter, each large enough to demand global attention. Every single detection flashes across the screens of survey teams working around the clock. You have PanStars in Hawaii, the Atlas project spread across the globe, and the brand new Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile's Atacama Desert. Data streams in from these automated telescopes, processed by sophisticated software designed to catch even the faintest, fastest moving blips of light against the blackness of space. The pace is absolutely relentless. New objects are flagged, their orbits calculated, and their threat level assessed, sometimes within mere hours of their first sighting. The Rubin Observatory, only months into its full operational phase, is contributing a flood of fresh data. Its massive camera covers huge swaths of the sky, picking up objects that would have slipped by completely unnoticed just one year ago. The most shocking fact is how statistically unlikely this all is. The models that astronomers use to predict these events, even corrected for our better detection abilities, put the odds of seeing more than 25 objects pass inside the moon's orbit in a single week at less than 1 in 1500. It's supposed to be a once-in-a-decade occurrence, not something you see on a random Tuesday. Even with our shiny new technology, the September surge stands out. It's a tight cluster of objects that seems to defy the usual random scatter of asteroid approaches. Some experts are quietly speculating about strange orbital resonances or maybe a hidden breakup event far out in the asteroid belt that sent a shotgun blast of debris our way. But what many have overlooked is the timing. This cosmic barrage is happening right as something truly alien enters the heart of our solar system. On social media, these numbers fuel wild theories. Charts are passed around showing a spike in activity that looks too sharp to be a coincidence. Some call it an orchestrated pattern, a warning shot from the cosmos. In scientific circles, the mood is more measured, but no less alert. Each close pass is logged, analyzed, and archived, feeding into a global planetary defense system that is only as strong as its latest detection. For a brief, tense window, the world's attention flickers to the sky. But what if one of these giant rocks wasn't just a near miss? Not from around here. While Earth is busy dodging cosmic bullets, a completely different drama is unfolding a little farther out near the orbit of Mars. On July 1, 2025, the PanStars telescope in Hawaii flags an object moving on a hyperbolic path. For astronomers, that term is a siren. It means the object is moving too fast to be captured by our sun's gravity. It's not from our solar system. It's a true interstellar visitor, only the third one ever confirmed, and it gets the designation 3 I Atlas. The first two, Oumuamua and Borisov, were scientific sensations. Oumuamua was a bizarre, cigar-shaped object that tumbled end over end, while Borisov looked and acted more like a conventional comet, just one from another star. 
but 3i Atlas, also cataloged as C2025N1, was immediately different. The thing nobody tells you is just how weird its approach is. Its trajectory is unlike anything stored in the Minor Planet Center's archives, which contain data on hundreds of thousands of celestial bodies. It's coming in at a steep angle relative to the plane of the planets, and it's not just passing through the outer solar system. It's diving right into the thick of things, on a course that will take it shockingly close to Mars. What many overlooked in the initial excitement of its discovery was the sheer energy of its approach. It's traveling at a blistering pace of over 60,000 miles per hour relative to our Sun. This isn't the gentle drift of a long-lost Oort cloud comet. This is the confident stride of an object that has journeyed for millions, perhaps billions, of years through the cold, dark void between the stars. And its destination, for a brief, spectacular moment, is the Red Planet. The encounter is set for October 1st, a date now circled on the calendars of scientists at NASA, ESA, and every other major space agency. The very existence of 3i Atlas raises mind-boggling questions. Where did it come from? What kind of star system could have ejected an object with such a peculiar makeup? And how many more of these interstellar ghosts are drifting through our cosmic neighborhood, silent and unseen? Its path seems almost intentional. Not in a conspiratorial way, but in a way that feels too perfect. It's as if the universe decided to send us a mystery gift wrapped in a cosmic enigma and deliver it right to the doorstep of the one planet besides Earth that we are actively exploring. Rovers on the surface like Perseverance and Curiosity and orbiters like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter are being repurposed. Their cameras and sensors are being turned away from the Martian surface and toward the approaching visitor transforming our robotic explorers into a front-row audience for a celestial show unlike any other. The approach of 3i Atlas is a stark reminder that our solar system is not an isolated island. It's an open environment, subject to visitors from cosmic shores we've only dreamed of. This object is a physical piece of another part of the galaxy, and studying it is like getting a free sample of a world we may never reach. Its composition wasn't just strange, it was something that shouldn't exist. A recipe for a new cosmos. As the world's most powerful telescopes zeroed in on 3i Atlas, the data they sent back was, to put it mildly, baffling. The first spectra, captured by the Very Large Telescope's X-Shooter instrument in Chile, revealed the comet's coma, the fuzzy cloud of gas around its nucleus. In a normal comet from our solar system, that coma is overwhelmingly dominated by water vapor, sublimating from ice as the sun warms it. But not 3i Atlas. Its coma was overwhelmingly made of carbon dioxide. Then, the James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden eye toward the visitor and confirmed the numbers. The data was jaw-dropping. The comet was spewing out nearly 300 pounds of carbon dioxide gas every single second. The amount of water vapor? A mere 15 pounds per second. That's a ratio of almost 20 to 1. In our solar system, that ratio is flipped. Water is the king of comets. Here it was a mere afterthought. This suggests 3i Atlas formed in a part of its home star system that was incredibly cold, far colder than the regions where our own comets were born. It was born in a place where carbon dioxide ice was far more common than water ice. But the weirdness didn't stop there. The most shocking fact was yet to come. High resolution spectra picked up a strong signal of atomic nickel streaming from the coma. That's not unheard of, but it's usually accompanied by its close chemical cousin, iron. You see, in most cosmic bodies, nickel and iron are like cosmic twins. Where you find one, you almost always find the other in a predictable ratio. But in 3i Atlas, the iron was simply missing. It was below the telescope's detection threshold. Nickel without iron. It's a chemical pattern so rare that it has only been hinted at in a few other strange objects. It's like finding a car made of aluminum, but with no steel. It defies the known rules of cosmic metallurgy. Theories began to fly. What kind of star system creates objects like this? Perhaps it came from a place rich in carbon-based materials, where nickel could bond with organic molecules that were later broken down by sunlight. Or maybe, over its immense journey through interstellar space, cosmic rays had selectively stripped the more volatile iron compounds away 
leaving the nickel behind. No single model fits all the data. It's a genuine, first-of-its-kind puzzle. Then, in mid-August, another surprise. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, scanning the skies in ultraviolet light, caught a sudden, brilliant flare. Three I Atlas had an outburst, an eruption from its nucleus that doubled its brightness in less than 36 hours. On Earth, amateur and professional astronomers watched as its tail visibly split into multiple components, with streams of dust fanning out in different directions. These violent, episodic outbursts weren't being driven by water jets, as is common in our comets. Instead, they pointed to pockets of super-volatile carbon dioxide ice buried just under the surface, erupting explosively as sunlight penetrated fresh cracks in the nucleus. This object wasn't just a passive visitor, it was active, dynamic, and profoundly alien. It was a messenger carrying a recipe for a solar system completely different from our own. And it was about to give us our closest look yet. Would it survive the encounter? or would it paint the Martian sky with alien dust? Red Planet, Alien Visitor. As October 1st, 2025 dawns, a fleet of human-made machines stands ready at Mars. On the surface, the Perseverance rover halts its geological survey in Jezero Crater. Its powerful MastCam Z and SuperCam instruments, normally used to analyze Martian rocks, are angled toward the sky. In orbit, high above the thin pink atmosphere, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, and the MAVEN spacecraft adjust their paths, preparing to get an unparalleled view of the interstellar guest. The world holds its breath, watching through the eyes of our robotic proxies hundreds of millions of miles away. 3i Atlas is now a stunning sight in the Martian sky. Far brighter than any star, its huge carbon dioxide coma glows with a ghostly white light and its bizarre, multi-stream tail stretches across a vast portion of the sky. Because Mars has such a thin atmosphere, less than 1% the density of Earth's, the view is crystal clear, unhindered by weather or pollution. This is a front row seat to a cosmic event of historic proportions. The key moment is the closest approach. The comet is predicted to pass just 50,000 miles from the Martian surface. That's an incredibly close shave in cosmic terms about one-fifth of the distance from the Earth to our Moon. At that range, the gravitational pull of Mars, though weak compared to Earth's, will be significant. Scientists are watching for any sign that the planet's gravity is tugging on the comet's nucleus. They're looking for telltale signs of stress, new jets of gas erupting, or even the horrifying possibility that the nucleus, already weakened by its violent outbursts, could fragment entirely. If 3i Atlas were to break apart, it would be a disaster for the comet, but a scientific goldmine. The breakup would create a cloud of pristine interstellar material, the raw ingredients of a world from another star system, scattered right in front of our instruments. Spectrometers on the orbiters would get an unprecedented look at the comet's heart, analyzing the composition of its core without the obscuring haze of the coma. For a brief period, the skies of Mars would be filled with a meteor shower unlike any seen before, as tiny fragments of an alien world burn up in its thin atmosphere. A shower of shooting stars from another star. Down on the surface, Perseverance doesn't just watch. Its sensitive microphones are listening. The entry of even small cometary fragments into the atmosphere could create faint sonic signatures, providing data on the density and structure of the Martian air. The rover is also using its weather sensors to look for changes in atmospheric pressure or temperature, subtle signs that a vast amount of cometary dust and gas is being added to the planet's environment. We just witnessed a visitor from another star. What other secrets are hiding in the dark? Did this event change your view of our place in the universe? Like and subscribe.